using the easy interactive tools. We have a mouse that will indicate that right now I'm in mouse mode. Or if I click it, then I'm going to be in the pen mode, or the working mode. So we're going to leave it in the pen mode for a minute. What we're going to do is go ahead and click the highlighter. What that's going to allow us to do is say highlight this particular group of text here to draw attention to it. But we may not like the blue, and it's a little thin. So what we can do is click this button here, and we're going to be able to change the thickness of the pen, the weight of it, and also the color. So I'm going to choose a moderately thick and a light yellow. Go ahead and close that. And now as you see, we can definitely highlight and draw attention. And it's much easier to, to cover the text as a whole. The one to the right of it is going to be a pen. If I click that once, you'll see it turns upside down. And now all this squiggle and circle, etc., down here is going to have uh, the green line like it had before, but now it has an eraser on it. Because now we're in eraser mode. This is freestyle eraser. So we can just wiggle it along and erase what we need to. In addition to that, let's just say I grab the square, click that. I can click and drag, and anything within that will be erased. That's just a faster way to erase. Much like in Excel, Word, or other Microsoft products, if we click the undo, that's just going to undo what we just did before, one step at a time. And this will be clear everything at once. If we take a look at this, and we click, just like the picture shows, that will be our on-screen virtual keyboard. This will be our save the screen or save feature. So if I went and let's say highlighted a bunch of text, I could simply click and it will take a picture and it will ask me where I want to save this file. As you see, it will be a JPEG, so it will just basically be a still picture. You cannot edit it, but it will still be something you could save, email, post on a website, etc. There are some additional tools, but that will be shown in the next video in the mouse mode. There are some additional shapes here, like say circle, I can go ahead and let's say change my color to say a nice red, and we'll make that a little thinner. And then I want to draw a circle around that particular item here to draw attention to it. Usually, I've seen that to draw attention to certain areas within the screen. So you have a, a red circle, a blue circle, and a yellow circle. So that way, when you're talking in class, you can be walking around and say, now if you, if you notice in the red circle, something about the course content. Now take a look at the blue circle and how do those two compare. And again, the same with the rectangle or the square shape here. So that was an introduction of how to use the easy interactive tools using the pen.